Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that if x be so small that its squares and higher powers may be neglected, find the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2x whole raised to power minus 3 plus 1 plus x whole raised to power 1 by 4 whole upon 1 minus x whole raised to power 1 by 3. Now, before starting the solution of this question, we should know about the result of approximation. Now, we know that the expansion of 1 plus x raised to power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 over 1 into 2 into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 over 1 into 2 into 3 into x cube plus so on up to infinity. Where absolute value of x is less than 1 and n be any fraction or a negative integer. Now as x is less than 1, so the terms of the above expansion go on decreasing and when x is very very small, a stage may be reached when we may neglect the terms containing the higher powers of x. Thus, if x be so small, that its squares and higher powers may be neglected, then the above expansion 1 plus x raised to power n will be equal to 1 plus nx. So this is called the approximate value of 1 plus x raised to power n. Now this result will work out as a key idea For solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Here we have to find the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2x whole raised to power minus 3 plus 1 plus x whole raised to power 1 by 4 whole upon 1 minus x raised to power 1 by 3. So expanding the above expressions, this will be equal to 1 plus nx. Here n is minus 3 and x is minus 3 by 2x. So it will be plus minus 3 into minus 3 by 2x plus so on plus 1 plus nx, here n is 1 by 4 and x is x, so it will be 1 by 4 into x plus so on, whole upon 1 plus nx, here n is 1 by 3 and x is minus x, so it will be plus 1 by 3 into minus x plus so on. Now, for finding out the approximate value of 1 plus x raised to power n, it will be written as 1 plus nx as the term containing the higher powers of x are neglected. So here also, neglecting the terms containing the higher powers of x, this will be equal to 1 plus 9 by 2x plus 1 plus x by 4 whole upon 1 minus x by 3. Now opening the brackets, this will be equal to 1 plus 1 plus 9 by 2x plus x by 4 
होल अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स बाय थ्री फर्दर दिस इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस वन इज टू प्लस टेकिंग द एल्सियम इट विल बी फोर हेयर इट विल बी एटीन एक्स प्लस एक्स होल अपॉन वन माइनस एक्स बाय थ्री दिस इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस नाइनटीन बाय फोर एक्स इन टू टेकिंग दिस एक्सप्रेशन हेयर सो इट विल बी वन माइनस एक्स बाय थ्री होल रेस टू पा माइनस वन फर्दर दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू प्लस नाइनटीन बाय फोर एक्स इन टू ऑन एक्सपेंडिंग दिस इट विल बी वन प्लस एन एक्स एज वी आर निग्लेक्टिंग द हायर पावर्स ऑफ एक्स सो हेयर वन प्लस एन एक्स एंड हेयर इज माइनस वन एंड एक्स हेयर इज माइनस एक्स बाय थ्री सो इट विल बी माइनस वन इन टू माइनस एक्स बाय थ्री दिस विल बी इक्वल टू टू प्लस नाइनटीन बाय फोर एक्स इन टू वन प्लस एक्स बाय थ्री Now, on multiplying these two expressions with each other, this will be equal to two plus two by three x plus nineteen by four x plus nineteen by twelve x square. Now, for finding out the approximate value, we have to neglect the terms containing the higher powers of x. So, we will neglect. This term. So this will be equal to two plus. On taking the LCM here, it will be twelve, and here it will be three into four is twelve, and four into two is eight. So it will be eight x plus four into three is twelve, and three into nineteen is fifty-seven. So it will be fifty-seven x. Now this is equal to two plus sixty-five by twelve x. Hence, the approximate value of one minus three by two x whole raised to power minus three plus one plus x. Whole is to power one by four, whole upon one minus x, whole is to power one by three, is equal to two plus sixty-five by twelve x. So this is the solution of the given question, and that's all for the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.